Big changes are coming to Wake County COVID testing sites. Beginning December 1st, you'll have to make an appointment to get a test. CBS 17's Imani Payne joins us live now with why they're doing it. Okay, break it all down for us, Imani. Yeah, so far, people have been able to drive up and get a test, whatever it was convenient for them, with no prior notice. But health officials say they're making changes to prioritize those most in need. Well, this is how COVID testing sites looked in Wake County at the height of the pandemic. This is how they look today as only a handful of people stop by the location here on Departure Drive as we head into the holiday season. It comes as Wake County Public Health says beginning next month, you will have to make an appointment to receive a COVID test at one of their sites. We have tailored, um, you know, scale up or down operations based on the conditions of the time for the pandemic. We want to make sure that we are uh, prioritizing members of the community that um, either have, you know, uh, concern or likely COVID-19 or also are concerned for an exposure. Those requiring a negative test for work or for an event will also be prioritized. Thousands of appointments will be available in 15 minute time slots from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. six days a week. No ID or insurance is required and the test will remain free. The county saying this is not due to any staffing issues or as a cost saving measure, but to more effectively reach those in need. And they say as numbers continue to decline, a further rollback may be possible in the future. But if we continue downward trend where the need for that level of access for testing is, is not there anymore, then so of course the right thing to do will be to continue to scale down. And free at-home COVID tests are also available through the county with results coming back in one to two days. For now, we're live in Raleigh. Imani Payne, CBS 17 News. Imani, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Well, President Biden says the U.S. bought 10 million courses of Pfizer.